Yeah, so we are heading out right now to go Northfield. I'm going to take you on a journey with me to Northfield. You get what I'm saying? So just relax, enjoy the journey, and come with me. Let's go Northfield. Right? Which is right. All right, calm down. Turn that down. Yeah, so. Let's go. As you're there before we start, hit that subscribe button, please, because I need it. Come on, let's go. Sorry about the wobbling. My phone is wobbly at the minute. Not the, the phone, but the holder. See you sexy. So yeah, the sun is, the weather is nice right now. Not gonna lie to you. The weather is nice right now. You get me, so? Going to not feel right now to do some delivery work. You know what I mean? So. Weather is nice, boy. Can't complain. But England, the weather in England right now, normally it's either raining or snowing or something. But today it's not too bad. You get me? Today is not too bad. I can wear my short sleeve shirt today. I'm in my short sleeve shirt today. Sunglasses. So you don't know the weather is alright. Thank me to God. You know what I mean? People are out and about from yesterday. The weather is good. And yeah. Let's go, let's go. So right now we're going to Mosley. This is King's Eat right now. I was just in Mosley a couple seconds ago. This is now King's Eat. I mean, this is a little town for those people watching from overseas. This is just a little town area. I would say town because it's got loads of shops and that with it. Food shop, KFC, Dixie's, chicken shop, pizza shop, Asda supermarket, little supermarket. Hey, watch out! Stupid idiot! I mean, you want to lose your life in the sunshine right now? Sorry for my language, but so, to be honest, some of these drivers make me real angry. Like that silly thing that you done a while ago. Look at this one up here. Go! Go on then! Oh my god. What's this one? Take six weeks. Christmas will come and I'll still be there waiting for him to go. Yeah, so I'm going to do some delivery job right now from about today's Sunday. You know what I mean? i tell you something. Last night I missed out on my lottery numbers. My numbers play last night and I thought I'd buy them. I start jumping up in the middle of the house, up and down in the house. It's a number set of number that I buy every week. So the numbers that I buy on the lottery, it's normally two, four, six. Right? So I pick three sets of number, pick three numbers, get 800 pounds. So yesterday I went to I buy them online. And because I buy them online, I only could pick so much number at a time. So there I was, taught I buy the numbers them last night. This morning when I wake up, check the lottery. I start jumping up and down in the house, thought I win 800 pounds. I know it's not much, but for somebody like me who don't have money, winning 800 pounds is a lot. You know what I mean? That's more than some people wages for the whole month. You know what I mean? So I was up, I was excited till I went and checked the numbers. Can you imagine how I feel? I didn't go, I wake up and I didn't go back to sleep and that was six o'clock this morning. I haven't been back to sleep since. You know what I mean? I got a little bit of migraine from, 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 from being angry. You know what I mean? But such is life. We live to try again. You know what I mean? We live to try again. So that's all we're gonna do, try again. But yeah, numbers play. I thought I was well in. That 800 pound, I could have paid back somebody that I owe and then use the rest, put the rest in the bank for a rainy day. You know what I mean? But. That's how it goes sometimes, you know what I mean? Things that you expect, you don't get it in life. And this is what life is about. You know what I mean? Trials and tribulation and errors. 
You know what I mean? So you learn from the past. So next time now, I'll definitely, definitely make sure that I've got the correct numbers. I'll double check and triple check. You know what I mean? Because I've been waiting for those numbers for at least three months. So I've been buying them non-stop for three months. And they finally play. And the one time I missed out. Last night I checked all my old slips and every single old slip that because the slips you can take in the shop, right? But last night when I finished work, I finished work at seven o'clock and they stopped selling the lottery at 7.30. So I had to rush home to, to get ready to go and DJ out. So I thought, okay, forget the shop this time, just buy it online. And the result was missing out on the numbers because I didn't buy them in the shop. You know what I mean? But as I said, it's a learning curve, you know what I mean? Won't happen to me again. Twice bitten, twice shy. That's what it says. Hey, you, stay where you are and don't come out. Stay, stay, stay. Lovely. So right now, we're in Sturchley right now. We're in the Sturchley. You know what I mean? So we're going through Sturchley right now. Sturchley, Birmingham, West Midlands. Yeah. They fixed this road the other day. It's very nice, oh. Very, very nice. Makes you want to speed. You know, but I kind of stick to the speed limit sometime. Like today, I don't have to rush. I got 12 minutes to get to my job, which is going to take me at least 10 so i'm not gonna rush sometimes it's better to get there safe than not to get there at all and sometimes you rush get yourself in problems which if you did take your time you would make it there in one piece you know yeah man but whatever you're doing i hope you're having a good day you know what i mean some of us have to work today sunday and i'm going to work i've been working six days in a row now look at this guy misses stop and reversing i miss um i've been to work six days in a row now and i'm sure i'll be, I, I'll, I'll continue again till saturday tonight again i'm djing out tomorrow night again i'm djing out because i dj for my on the weekends as well as working you know what i mean so we have to do what we have to do some of us are more privileged than some some is born lucky, which they don't have to work even a day in their life. While some is born lucky with talents and gifts. For example, singing, musician, uh, acting. You know what I mean? Some people are born special. Not that all of us are not born special, but some of us are born more gifted than some. You know what I mean? That's what we say, gifted. You know what I mean? So, yeah. We give thanks for what we got anyway. Because... When you think of yourself being in a situation, there's somebody worse off than you. You know what I mean? Just like you now thinking that you could be losing your house and all that kind of thing when there's somebody already lost their house already and living on the streets or living at somebody's house or coaching somewhere, you know what I mean? So what we have to do when things like that happens, we just have to shake it off, try and shake it off as best as possible and just try and push on and See if you could achieve it or get back because sometimes you lose everything and you have to start all over again which is life in itself as well you know what i mean nothing in life is perfect which is just my opinion i don't know about you but my opinion is that nothing in life is perfect yes you can make a perfect cake you can make a perfect outfit but nothing is perfect forever then let's put it that way Nothing stays perfect forever. Today could be a perfect day, which is nice and warm, yes. And then later on, it turns into rain, hailstone, thunderstorm, and all that kind of thing. So yes, there's things that are perfect, but not all the time you're gonna have a perfect day then. Let's put it that way. I can be wrong, so don't quote me on it. I can be wrong. As I says, I can be wrong, and I'm not perfect. So the little knowledge I've got, that's what I'm making it work with. If you call it knowledge, I call it little knowledge. You know what I mean? It's better than your head fooling up with poo. You know what I mean? Your head full of poo. You don't know your foot from your toes. You know what I mean? 
you don't know your elbow from your arm look at this guy slow it down please today's not a rush day today's sunday take it easy i'm sure you're not going to work i am going to work and i'm not even rushing i mean so take it easy slow it down so yeah if you can in your house right now whatever you're doing and you can get somebody to subscribe to my channel thinking yo you know what this young man is not the smartest in the world but he's trying you know what I mean? He's trying and it, it, some of the stuff that he's saying makes sense. You know what I mean? So yeah. Because I'm not born perfect. Yeah. I'm, born, I'm, I'm, I'm born blessed. I'm not born perfect because I'm thinking, yo, you know what? I always think to some myself, yo, how come I, I never born with this or blue eyes or black eyes or brown eyes or, you know what I mean? And, and how come my, I'm not that tall I'm not that you know what I mean my skin is not clean and pretty you know what I mean but God made me for a reason this way I don't know man I'm not gonna waffle on anymore I'll let you take take I'll let you have have a look on where we going because I might be talking and talking nonsense and putting you off you know what I mean so right now we sell you right now sell you Silly I play about five minutes from a DJ in a, in a place five minutes from here on the other side of Silly You know what I mean? But I give thanks for you for watching this video though. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. You could be doing something else with your time, but you're sitting down and you're watching this video. Even though you think half of it, somebody probably is thinking half of it don't make sense. He's commenting and he doesn't understand what he's saying. He's commenting and he doesn't know where he's going. He's commenting. You know, when you're doing good in the world, somebody always has something else to say. Even when you're doing good, somebody's always there to criticize. You know what I mean? And if you think to yourself, how can they do it better? They said, oh, I would do it that way or I would do it that way. But when it get down to it, they make more errors than you. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So the Queen, has, Queen Elizabeth Hospital is in front of us. Kiwi, it's called Kiwi, is in front of us. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's selling up right now. I'm gonna push, take this left here, and go to Northfield. You know what I mean? Nice day, man. Window is down and everything. Nice. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, I don't like potholes, you know. I don't like when my car drops in potholes. So I'm going to show you to take you on this drill carriageway where this guy was driving up the wrong way on this whole drill carriageway. Right? He was on the wrong side of the road. So basically, I'm going up now. He's coming down on my side, which he should have been on the opposite side. And it was about... It was about 7.30, 8 o'clock, almost 8 o'clock at night. He's coming up with his headlight on. I don't know if he's planned to commit suicide. I don't know what was going through his head. I don't know if he's he taken the wrong turn and come on the, come on the opposite side, but he could have still coming off. There, there is gap in the road or in the dual carriageway where you can come over and be on the right side of the road. He was doing at least 60, 70 coming up with his headlight flashing. Can you imagine me screaming like a little lady, handbag being stolen? I was screaming like a little lady, like they stole my handbag. And I was screaming so somebody could help me. You know what I mean? It even go that far that I even wet my pants a little bit. You know what I mean? I, I, I wet myself a little bit. You know what I mean? Because I was that scared. I'm thinking, okay, everybody's gonna die on this drill carriage right now because this guy can just rub people's car and hit people's side on the side and push them out the way. And thank you, Jesus, that he got past me in one piece. You know what I mean? I had to pull over and check my pants that I didn't pull myself at the same time. So yeah, it was terrible. I've never seen anything like it in all my life where somebody's coming in my direction and should be on the opposite that side of the road coming to my direction head on you know what i mean but yeah as i said we're heading to northfield 
and I'm going to start my evening job in Northfield. So tonight now, today now, I'm working from from two o'clock to seven o'clock, then rush home, get washed and dressed for seven thirty, and then head out to the clubs to start my set for eight o'clock, and then finish at two o'clock tonight, two a.m. in the morning, and then get home, get get washed and dressed and get up in the morning and head out to work again and do a long shift and then get back home for six o'clock in the evening get an hour's rest and then head out again to DJ out in Selly Oak where I am right um, in Selly Oak I'm in Northfield right now you understand so yeah work has to be done put in that money so you can look after the kids and the family you know what I mean pay the bills Without money, you can't survive. You could survive if you go to certain countries and feed, eat off the land. But you still need money to buy seeds and all that kind of thing if you're going to eat off the land. Because you have to plant your own stuff. If you go to somebody's house or I, 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 and go and steal stuff from the house, you know the consequences. That's theft. You know what I mean? So if you're going to live off the land, you need to have money anyway to plant seeds or buy plants or buy stuff to put in the ground so you can grow it so you can eat off the land so in any case you're gonna need money you understand and if you live like back in the time right now we not feel right now my workplace is just up here so if you live off the land and you decide okay you're going back to the stone age where you just hunt and all that kind of thing them days are gone but you can do that, it's just gonna take you a bit longer and then you're gonna be hungry because it's more difficult. Even the animal nowadays are crazy, the animals looking at you like, yo, what's happening? What do you want? Why are you looking at me like that? Do you like our look or something? Even the animals them these days are strange. So yeah, got to work in one piece, thank God. At my workplace right now, this is not feel. So thank you very much for watching, for watching. I appreciate it. May God continue to bless you and your family. And just keep on looking after yourself until we meet again. You know what I mean? Have a great morning, great afternoon, and great day. God bless, look after yourself. Remember to subscribe, please. Thank you.